What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the OtterBox Defender Series case on the iPad 4. Now what you're going to want to note here is that we have a built-in screen protector which is going to ensure that we have no scratches on the front of the display which is very important when purchasing a product of this magnitude. Let's go ahead and pop off the top and get the actual case out so you guys can take a look at it. This case is offering up three layers of protection for your iPad 4. So first we're going to start off with a stand that's going to double as your third layer of protection. We have a layer of shock absorbing silicone as well as the endoskeleton made out of an extremely durable and extremely high quality polycarbonate material. Now you do get some installation instructions here on how to install the case onto the fourth generation iPad but I thought it was more sufficient to give you guys a video demonstration on exactly how to do it. But here you have here. Uh, some paperwork that once again this is going to show you briefly how to install it. Here we have a instructional step from 1 to 7 on how to install it and then A to D. First we have our included stand. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side. Next you're going to want to grab a credit card or a card of your choice and insert it right in between the shock absorbing silicone and the polycarbonate shell. Once you do so you're going to be able to maneuver that rubber silicone around the edges here. Go ahead and just move it over all the edges and get everything pulled out securely. Now once you do so you're going to want to make sure that the home button there at the bottom pops out securely as well. That is pretty fragile. Now we need to unclamp the polycarbonate shell which is held together by three points of connection on one side, three points of connection on the other side, and two points of connection at the top and bottom. So let's go ahead and pop those off. Now be very careful and make sure that all corners are pulled off from both sides and the top and the bottom. Once you have done so, you'll be able to pull it apart here as you can see. Now we're going to go ahead and take our iPad fourth generation. Now here is a fresh iPad. I'm just pulling it here out of the plastic as you can see. I did unbox this fourth generation. I'll drop a link down in the description if you guys missed that video. Be sure to check it out. I'm also giving one of those away, so be sure to smash the like button on this video for that. Go ahead and drop your iPad fourth gen into the bottom of the unit. Now we're going to go ahead and place the top portion on top of the unit itself. Clamp in all sides making sure that everything is fitting in securely. The next step is to put the actual shell back into the shock absorbing silicone. Now go ahead and take your shell and put it inside of the shock absorbing silicone starting with the bottom of the unit first. Make sure that the home button fits in securely. Next we're going to go ahead and grab the OtterBox Defender and put on the shock absorbing silicone by massaging it around the actual polycarbonate shell. Now upon doing this you will see that all the edges will fit in securely. Some of the ports will be hanging out. Make sure and install the ports correctly in their specific locations. Now upon completing all of the required steps to put this case together you can see that we now have three layers of protection over our iPad 4th generation. Now we do have some added bulk here obviously to the iPad 4th gen but in my opinion it's worth it due to the fact that you're going to want to protect your investment that you just spent money on. I would hate to see anyone drop their iPad on their screen or the back of the iPad for that matter and actually scratch up their entire unit. Now let's take a look at our included stand that's going to double as another screen protector over the front. Let's go ahead and take a look at the two orientations that this stand offers up. First we have a perfect orientation for typing and second off now we have an orientation that's going to be beautiful for taking notes. Uh, watching movies, etc. Now here, let's go ahead and put this stand on the back of the OtterBox Defender case. And now we have four rubber feet on the back that's going to help ensure our iPad is not going to slip around when we're actually using it here on our desk. Let's go ahead and see here. I'll go ahead and try and move it with one hand. You can see there it doesn't want to move. Now let's go ahead and put on the included shield protector. And you can see here that the stand doubles as this screen protector which is going to offer up tremendous protection. You can put this in a backpack or a bag. Let's take a look at some macro shots now. We have here the included case stand that you can see has very nice rugged protection. We have our front facing camera fully protected. Here you can see the memory foam that's at the bottom of the unit. Here's a closer look at that included stand that we have. Now here's a closer look at the material used in the shock absorbing silicone. Now here we have the speaker you can see is covered up with a very nice material as well. Now here's a closer look at our cutout for our camera. We also have a diamond material on the sides to help grip the iPad when you're holding it, which in my opinion is a great feature. And here's just a look at the unit uh, in the case itself. Now here are one of the two included options here with the stand. 
for the orientation methods that you are able to produce with the stand included. Now, here's a closer look at the overall unit itself. Well, that's going to wrap this one up for me. I hope you enjoyed the content and I hope you found the information to be useful. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and also please subscribe to the channel to be notified of future uploads. If we reach 200 or more likes here on this video, we'll be giving away the OtterBox Defender Series case. So be sure to hit up that like button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.